Specialists of the Sukhoi Experimental Design Bureau developed the aircraft. Over the decades, the engineers of the Design Bureau have developed about 100 types of aircraft and their modifications fighters, fighter interceptors, bombers, reconnaissance firefighting, reconnaissance aircraft, attack aircraft, cargo passenger and amphibious, sports, cargo, agricultural. More than 60 types of aircraft are mass-produced. The Su-57 became the first fifth-generation supersonic fighter. The fifth-generation Su-57 multifunctional fighter is designed to destroy all types of air targets in long-range and close combat, to destroy ground and surface targets. At the same time, the aircraft can overcome air defense systems, control airspace at long distances, and destroy enemy aircraft control systems. The Su-57 is a universal machine that combines the functions of an attack aircraft and a fighter. A new avionics complex with high control automation and intelligent crew support is deeply integrated into the design. The Su-57, also known as PAK-FA, 5th Generation Frontline Aviation Complex, is a Russian 5th Generation Multi-Role Fighter Aircraft designed and manufactured by Sukhoi. The Su-57 is conceived as the leading strike system in the Russian aviation fleet, with unique characteristics and capabilities, including high maneuverability, stealth, and effectiveness in air combat. In addition, the Su-57 has advanced control systems, electronic weapons and engines, which make it one of the most modern and powerful fighters in the world. The Su-57 is designed to perform various tasks, including airspace protection, strikes against ground and sea targets, reconnaissance and air combat support. Its main armament includes medium and long-range air-to-air missiles, air-to-ground missiles and guided bombs. The Su-57 is also equipped with an advanced electronic warfare system, an optoelectronic complex, and an integrated combat operations management system. In addition, the fighter has stealth characteristics that allow it to remain undetected by enemy radar systems. The Su-57 has been successfully tested and is currently being supplied to the Russian Air Force. It has also attracted interest from international customers interested in its air-to-air -air combat capabilities. Overall, the Su-57 is a significant step forward in the development of Russian aviation and strengthening the country's defense capabilities. One of the requirements for a fifth-generation fighter is stealth. In the Su-57, protection from radars is provided by a special shape, the slope of all surfaces in a very limited range. One of the differences of the fifth generation machine is the ability to fly in cruise mode at supersonic speed. The Su-57 cockpit is more ergonomic and more comfortable than in the Su-27. Inside there is a new life support system, oxygen supply and equipment. The design provides for an updated ejection seat with automatic analysis of the altitude, speed and angular movement of the aircraft, as well as the height and weight of the pilot. Thrust vector control engines increase the fighter's maneuverability, facilitate takeoff, allow you to perform complex maneuvers in the air and sharply change the roll and pitch. It is difficult to approach the fighter at an effective firing range. The package includes a radar station and an optoelectronic detection system that tracks enemy aircraft at long distances. The aircraft is equipped with air-to-air -air and air-to-surface guided missiles, adjustable bombs, and an aircraft cannon capable of firing bursts at a rate of up to 1,500 rounds per minute. Such a set of weapons allows you to solve any combat and attack missions. The installed radar equipment of the Su-57 fighter can detect enemy aircraft at a long distance, and maneuverability and modern weapons reduce the enemy's chances of hiding or carrying out a successful attack.
In foreign media, the Su-57 fighter is often called a threat, and it is believed that the aircraft will dominate in any battle, especially when used in conjunction with unmanned attack drones. The Su-57 wing has a root curve with a rotating leading edge. This design improves aerodynamic performance, especially at high angles of attack. Composite materials are used in the Su-57 acoustic emission sensors will read measurements that occur during operation. When the material wears out, there are more sound pulses this will help localize the destruction zone and carry out timely maintenance of the aircraft. The exact parameters of the Su-57 are kept secret. You can see the plane from the outside, watch the piloting at air shows, and even try yourself as a pilot in a VR simulator, but the developers do not disclose the technical characteristics. The Su-57 is ideal for both long-range and close combat, which distinguishes it from most stealth fighters, which perform well only at long range. The fighter's high maneuverability at supersonic speeds gives the Su-57 a huge advantage in real combat.